Uh, my name is uh, Sam Valifshi. I'm the master cultivator here at Microlab Farms. Uh, basically, I'm handling the not only the operations of the actual grow, but also the execution. They kind of go hand in hand. If you don't have your hand on the pulse of what's going on with the, these plants on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not really able to give what they need because uh, it changes so rapidly. This is our stacker model. Um, essentially, what you're able to do is you're able to grow potentially twice as much uh, production as you would in a single stack pod. Uh, because we have these LED full spectrum lights, that's really what allows us to maximize the space. When you use LED lights, there's a lot less heat being pushed out by those lights, so you don't need them to be as far away from the plants. That's why you notice when you look at these, they're like literally almost uh, like a couple, an inch or two inches away from the actual light. When you're using uh, HIDs or uh, metal halide or high pressure sodium, you need at least 24 inches away from those plants so you're not burning your tips. Uh, by doing that, also though, there's a lot of different factors that play into that. When, you're, when you have less heat, you have to make sure that your temperature in your pot is a lot higher. So we have these two AC units, we have uh, humidifier and dehumidifiers in the back, and those are all connected actually to a smart system over there that essentially gives us the stats every single second, even if we're not here. And there's different alarms and different settings uh, on, that, on that smart system so that if something goes off or something is not exactly where we need it to be, we can adjust it without even necessarily having to be here. Um, on top of that, we're able to plant uh, Sea of Green style, so we fit maybe 600 plants in here, whereas when you're doing in a basic model, you're only able to fit you know, 100 to 120 plants. So you're really able to maximize your production, be able to maximize your resin quality because you're using LEDs. And a lot of uh, the rear of the cans, there's reservoirs, where if you want to set up a fully automatic uh, water drip system, be able to line all your plants out and essentially reduce your, your manpower by like 50%. We also have huge Schaefer fans in the back to make sure that we have proper airflow, to make sure that we're mitigating our powdery mildew issues, make sure that these buds are getting as much resin production as they possibly can, um, make sure they're getting really sturdy as well. I mean, all these different environmental factors really play a huge role, especially when you're in a contained space, because these plants grow naturally outside. They get the wind, they get the rain, they get the sun. And if you're not really dialing in all those different things, you get mediocre buds.